Welcome back to Bunter's Yard. Today we're going to be adding a coal load to this wagon. So today is the first video we're doing from the new um, permanent sort of workstation uh, Bunter's Yard so it's where I do weathering and coal loads and repairs um, it's much easier because it's now permanent I used to have to break it down every night and put it away or if I had visitors in the studio I had to I had to hide everything out of the way but if we've got this little um, cupboard which is 162 centimeters wide um, big enough for the worktop So if you're anything like me, you're gonna have your wagons weathered and possibly loads in as well on your layout. Uh, you can buy loads that are prefabricated from molded plastic or already made from different materials on foam that you can insert into your wagon. They, they tend to look very similar, the plastic ones, not particularly uh, realistic obviously, but it's very inexpensive and just doesn't take uh, very long at all to fit um, your own custom load into your wagon and that's what we're going to do today Now the method we're going to use today is for a permanent load although we're using PVA which you can um, realistically you could remove if you wanted to they're not designed to be taken in and out I'll do a video on removable loads uh, very soon and put the link down in the description so without further ado let's get uh, around to the workbench and uh, make a start so before we start on fitting the load, we're going to give this a very light um, factory style weathering, um, just a couple of quick colors. So the bottom will cover in um, this Vallejo Model Air US AF Brown, which is uh, like a dirty grime effect, um, but it's a fairly light. So we're not gonna go too over the top with this. Just want a, a, a used appearance really. So especially if we've got a load in it. So that's the bottom part that will slightly change color when it dries and then uh, for where the load's going to be this is going to be coal obviously we're going to just give that uh, a little bit of a darkening around the top and around the inside um, I don't like to use uh, a straight black so um, this is a German black brown which is a really dark brown um, sometimes add a touch of black in just to make it a little bit darker but just to give it uh, like a grime effect around the top and where the loads are going to go and there it is ready for its coal load now we've got uh, a choice of loads um, so we're using constructor range from Hattons and we've got a choice of uh, coal or coke this is a medium grade I think this one is iron ore uh, again there's different grades in this uh, these are about five pound 40 i think for a, for a pack um that is ballast just normal track ballast you might want to use that let's get another option this is granite uh, this one is aquarium uh, sand and then finally this is uh, th these are metal filings uh, shavings from a, a metal worker friend these look really good once they're uh, rusted up a little bit so there's our truck ready to go and just check before you start working on your wagon that there are no holes in the bottom sometimes where they're fitted there'll be little holes and uh, that can mean the uh, the glue mixture will start to seep out once you start to fit that so just double check that and put a dab of glue on if that's needed um, if you don't want to fill the whole of your wagon up with uh, with your uh, load then you can make a little um, sort of riser at the bottom I pack it out and this is just a foam core we'll just cut this to size um, if your wagon's really light you might just want to use the whole of the, uh, the whole of it um, to add a little bit more weight uh, obviously if you're using the metal ones the, the iron filings then you probably won't you want to put this in just to so you only have half a load in me effectively just pop that into place push in nice and tight and then next thing you do is pop our load in now some people will spoon this in and make it uh, you know particularly neat um, I just tip it straight from the tub so put a little bit in level it off to make sure we cover the bottom of the uh, of the wagon or the uh, piece of card that's in here at the moment now 
Now if you look at real loads, they'll have a sort of hump in the middle where it's loaded from the middle. So we just try and simulate that. So just have a slight, um, a slight rise in the middle, and just um, jig it around until you're until you're happy with the way it looks. Just tamp it down, make sure it all sits nicely. Now for the um, to fit it to fit for the glue, we're going to use a PVA mixture. This is just normal PVA from uh, B and Q's. Uh, this bottle has lasted me absolutely ages. I'm just going to mix up enough 50/50 uh, to water, and then our special ingredient, uh, which is no secret, is um, a washing up liquid. Just a drop or two. This just breaks the surface tension so that the glue mixture can soak its way through the. Um, through the load that you fit it in. Give it a good uh, give it a mix. Uh, you'll notice that my glues, if you ever have any of my wagons, uh, they tend to smell of apples and now you know why. So when we're ready, we're gonna drop this in. Uh, you can spoon it in, use a syringe. I wouldn't pour it in straight from the jug because the, uh, the weight of it would dislodge the uh, the load and you'll have a, a, a weird dent in the middle pop it on top you can see it takes a second and then it will start to soak straight through once it gets wet uh, it will soak in much much easier and it will dry clear so don't worry about the uh, the white at the moment you need to go all around the edges make sure you hit all of the edges and every um, every area you can see on the top if you, if you miss the edges I've done that a few times before when you pick your wagon up and it's finished uh, you'll see that the uh, your load will sort of pour out or just come away and you just be end with a, a piece in the middle and uh, big gaps around the edge and you have to start to refill it again, go over it all over again. So I normally just fill this until I can see the level at the end, you can just see it on the left. It's just uh, just rising above the, the load and uh, that one suggests to me that that's, uh, that's pretty much full. You need to leave this for a maybe uh, at least overnight, but probably a couple of days before this dries. It depends on the weather. Could be uh, more than more than a couple of days. And there it is, finished on the track. You can see all the white from the PVA is gone and just left the uh, the pure colour of the of the load that you fitted. So there we have it. Very inexpensive. Takes no time at all. Just leave it set for a day or two and uh, you're ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below, click on the bell icon, and then you'll be notified each time we pop up a new video. Until next time, happy modeling. We'll see you soon.